Like Bill Cosby, Pat started off as a child, and she looks a lot like another little girl I know. She grew into quite a lovely young lady by the time she got out of high school. One day she met the man of her dreams, Richard Peck, who became her husband and the father of her one daughter. That daughter was Debbie, and here she is as a little baby. Daughters grow up, of course, and here we are with Pat and Debbie a few years later. And here we have Debbie and Richard and Patricia. Here's a picture of Pat on the left, her sister Charlene and her mother, Alice. Here's another picture of Pat with her sister Charlene. And then along came Tabitha. And like Debbie had been, Tabitha became the light of her life. Richard had passed away and Pat entered retirement from Bank of America where she'd worked for over 30 years. Richard had told Patricia that she should find another man but not to get involved with a guitar picker and guess who she got involved with. Pat and I moved to Nashville where we bought a, an eclectic type hardware garage sale store where we also had music, and this particular night was the Music City Christian Association uh, program. Pat was running sound. After we closed the hardware store, Pat got a job as a manager of Provence, a French bakery, a place for great coffee and desserts. When we took a trip to California about 2000, the most important people for Pat to visit were Tabitha and Debbie. Since we lived in Nashville, we were close to my sister in Arkansas, so we would go and visit her every now and then. And Eileen definitely loved Pat. One of the places we stayed in Arkansas was the Red Apple Inn, and on this occasion, Pat was a blonde. I liked her, whatever her hair color was. Here's another shot of Pat looking at Greer's Ferry Lake right over the dam in Heber Springs, Arkansas. And when we would take those trips, we would always stop in Searcy at the Thanks a Latte coffee shop. And here we are with our laptops. We also like to drive down to uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama, and visit the beach. And so here's Pat at the pavilion there. And there we are together. Found somebody who would take our picture for us. It was usually a hard thing to do. Here's another shot of Pat at Gulf Shores by the hook sign. On the way back from Gulf Shores, we would stop in Foley and on this occasion they were having a, an event and we stopped and took some pictures by the flowers and found somebody to take our picture there too. This was in New Orleans where I found a jail to put Pat in. She didn't stay in there very long though. In Centennial Park in Nashville, they often had a crafts fairs, and we went to one, and I took her picture. 
One of the things we liked to do was take a drive down the Natchez Trace Parkway. And we stopped and uh, some motorcycle people took our picture on this occasion. Another place we liked was Radnor Lake. We would go out there for walks all the way around. It was about four miles to walk all around the lake. And this is her standing on a bridge. And here's her customary pose when being photographed on the trail in Radnor Lake. We took this picture in our home in Nashville, just a couple blocks from where Pat was working. One weekend we went down to Destin, Florida and Walton Beach, I believe the name was it. And we had a motel right by the ocean, which was Pat's favorite place, being by the water. She loved to go to the beach. This was a beautiful weekend. A totally different experience is when it snowed, about six inches of snow in Nashville in a few hours, and we got out in it and had a good time. This is one of my favorite photos. Also in Nashville, we would enjoyed uh, going to Opryland and walking through the huge atrium they have there. One year, uh, Debbie came out to visit us, stayed for a little while. This is a picture right at the foot of Broadway Avenue right by the river. And we also got friends to get us tickets to go backstage at the Opry. And there's Pat's big old grin, which she always had. And here's a picture of the three of us. Debbie was tickle pink to be backstage and hanging out with all those Opry stars, and so was I. This is the beach down by Carlsbad, California. We're always winding up at a beach. This occasion was uh, Monterey. We would take off and go to Monterey Beach every now and then. Pat just loved the beach. And when we, go, we would go to Monterey, the very first place we would stop would be a little coffee shop called The Works and have a mocha. As I said, Pat adored her granddaughter and she adored her great-granddaughters. Do you see a similarity between one of those little girls to Pat's picture? Here's Pat holding Karma, her first great-granddaughter, and you can see how happy she is to be doing that. Here's another shot of holding the precious babies that she loves so much. Now this picture to me is so classic. This is such a good shot of Pat and the love she had for her girls. This is out of sequence, but Pat and I started going to a church called Zion Christian Center in Nashville, and that's where we got married. And here we are, just changing our vows, being announced as husband and wife, it was a beautiful, wonderful day. And here we are receiving all of our guests and friends and coming up here is one of my favorite photos of Pat at that reception, that beautiful big smile that she always had. Here we have a little movie footage of Pat and Debbie at the beach. The day we drove down to Stinson and it took a long time to find it, but Pat always loved the beach. If I said, where do you want to go? She'd say, let's go to the beach. And here we have our final photo of Pat with that gentle loving smile. We're sure going to miss her. <laughs>